Hey folks, Bruce Wiles with Hunter Specialties. We've heard a lot of great stuff over the last couple of weeks, uh, and even months now, uh, regarding Hunter Specialties' new um, BioStrike products. We've got the BioStrike field spray, we've got the body wash and the shampoo, and also the uh, laundry detergent. We've heard some great things about proper scent control as it relates to your body, your clothing, and then putting everything into a uh, scent safe bag that we have back here. One thing that you don't hear a lot of people talk about uh, when it comes to scent control are boots. One of the biggest places that we sweat as hunters, doesn't matter if you're in cold regions or, or down here in the southeast where I'm at, where it's really hot most of the bow season, uh, is, is the fact that your feet sweat terrible. No matter whether you're, you're, you're walking into a stand for five minutes in, in cold weather or if you're walking into a stand in 10 minutes in the uh, 80 degree temperatures that we're getting ready to have this weekend. You've got to take all the precautions with scent control, and that is from head to toe. So don't stop with your clothing and putting your clothing in a bag and, and just washing your body. What I'll do every year before the season starts is I, I wear rubber knee-high boots when I deer hunt. I'll go ahead and get the old scent away, the old green soap that we have, the scent away shampoo. And what I'll do is I generally have two sets of boots. You can see this one here still has the dirt on them from last year. I haven't cleaned them up yet. But I store all of my stuff in a shed out here in the back. So over the summertime, the mold, the mildew, the heat, the temperatures get in there and you know your, your gear starts to smell like a, a shed. So what I'll do is before the season comes in, you know, a week or two in advance, I'll come out here, I'll grab my, my green scent away soap and you wanna just basically take it, squirt it all over the boots, squirt it inside your boots and just rub it in okay you're getting all the scent off of your boots it's basically just like washing your clothes the only thing is you're doing it to your boots you want to rub it in on the outside get it all good in those pores of the rubber and make sure it gets the whole boot the big key is making sure you get inside the boot you want to make sure you get all that soap into that fabric and, and push it in there real good to make sure that uh, you know everything's covered with this this scent scent free soap so you get in there and once everything's covered up with the soap I'll let it sit for a few minutes and then all you do is come in with a hose I'll rinse the outside of the boots off with the hose and I'll take the hose put it inside and fill the boots right on up I'll get in there and with my hands and I'll work it around like an agitator in a washing machine slosh it around a little bit to make sure that that soap and water really gets into those pores and cleans those boots out the other thing is most of your boots have insoles. I'll take the insoles out, just like you see here, and I'll throw those in with my clothes wash. Put them right in there with the new BioStrike laundry detergent and wash your insoles. These are the things that harbor most of the bacteria from the sweat of your boots. So you gotta get these things clean. So you gotta make sure that you take all the precautions, not just your clothing, not just your body, but your boots as well. You know, you can wear boots two or three days I generally have a couple of pairs that I alternate one day to the next so that the boots have time to dry if your boots don't get to dry out they're gonna create that bacteria from the sweat and that's when the, that's what's gonna give you odors in the woods okay so don't neglect your boots this fall I assure you that if you uh, take all the proper scent precautions with your boots wash them and scrub them down real good with the new BioStrike products or the old HS green soap you'll have a lot more success this fall good luck